Yo, you already know what it is. Yo, that Bright Burn just came out, so we're going to do a little quick review. You know what I'm saying? The movie's rated R. It's been going on over the internet. It's been looking like pretty much an origin story for the evil version of a, a Superman, so to say. And, uh, and it was just exactly what we thought it was going to be. You know what I'm saying? We got a little 12-year-old kid. Well, he's 12 years old once all the acting started, but as a kid, as a baby, crash lands in uh, Brightburn County in Kansas, and he is found by uh, a couple who couldn't have no kids and things like that, so that was like their dream come to. And as the kid got about 12 years old, that's when shit started to hit the goddamn fan, and this kid was on some crazy other shit, you know what I mean? It was... It was kind of gory, but it was funny in a way to me, you know what I mean? Because I was expecting this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yo, I, I want to see an evil version of Superman. That's what made me want to go see it. Like, I wanted to see the kid do some evil stuff, you know what I mean? And I was not let down, you know what I mean? Definitely was not. This little kid was on some other crazy stuff, you know what I mean? Pretty much his spaceship, he was being drawn to his spaceship that they had hidden in a barn just like in Smallville and Superman just like you know what I mean same exact thing so it's like calling to him and uh once he gets into inside of him and then he finds out who he is and that's when he just goes crazy you know what I'm saying this little kid uh Brandon Breyer that's his name and the things he did to the people like when he had a little coming out party this was definitely an origin story to some super villain shit that we want to see down the line because yo just by the end of the movie you can tell it's definitely set up to be a part two you know what i'm saying rated r but maybe yeah he had about five death scenes that was like whoa you know what i mean like some five like oh shit scenes like yo this kid is crazy you know what i'm saying but other than that, it kind of started off kind of slow, you know what I mean? They was kind of building up, building up, but then once they let the kid loose and go on and do his thing, you know what I mean? It was a good ending of the movie, you know what I'm saying? The third the third act was definitely, definitely good. The surprising conclusion of what was going to happen because uh, through, the whole, through the whole time, like, this kid is just... Once he turned, like, hit puberty, he's just, like, doing whatever he wants to do. He can't be controlled and all the evil stuff that's going on. Like, his mom still was, like, in denial, you know what I mean? Like, oh, not my kid, you know what I'm saying? But then things kind of changed for the worse, you know what I'm saying? There was a camping trip that I'm not going to get into, but the camping trip got real, you know what I'm saying? And, yo, Pops kind of had that coming to him, you know? He brought that shit upon himself, you know what I mean? But... It was a good movie, you know what I'm saying? I give it like a 3.3 3 out of 5, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like no great, but it was definitely entertaining seeing like a a super villain type of origin movie. Something just different up in the mix, you know what I mean? I definitely liked it. It's rated R. Got some cursing in there. Got some death scenes that is kind of brutal, but you know what I mean? It's exactly what you expect. If you want to see what it was like if Superman crash landed and was evil go check it out because that's exactly what you're going to get you know what i'm saying yeah what's your boy big smooth representing from the nerds in the hood yo bright burn review it was all right it was good you know what i mean i give it a 3.3 .3 out of 5 you know what i'm saying it's definitely entertaining the movie's only an hour and a half but for some reason it kind of felt longer than that but you know what i mean it is what it is go check it out you know what i mean it was definitely worth watching definitely a couple old shit scenes you know what i mean and there's definitely going to be a sequel to this movie, you know what I mean? Especially if it do good in the box office. And looking at the CGI, I guarantee you this movie really didn't cost a lot to make. So it should turn over profits kind of easily, you know what I'm saying? So good enough to green light a uh, part two. So, you know what I mean? That's my review. Go check it out. It's everything that you thought it was going to be. You know what I mean? Superman, if he would have crash landed on Earth and was evil, you know what I'm saying? This movie was done by Sony. I guess they trying to do their own thing now, you know what I mean? With these super villains at the Venom, then they got something like this coming out, and they got a bunch of other villain movies coming out. So I guess Sony's trying to change the game a little bit, and instead of doing some superhero movies, they doing super villain shit, you know what I mean? But I definitely like Bright Burn. It was entertaining, you know what I'm saying? And yo, go check it out. 
tell me what you think, you know what I'm saying? If you already saw it already, drop some uh drop something in the comments, you know what I mean? Drop some drop some remarks in the comments, you know what I mean? I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.